We just continuously laughed. I've never laughed so hard in my life like I did that day. And then we ended up drinking the leucozid anyways. My father died at 10.50, Saturday the 19th Pacific time, USS time, which would have been 8.50 Ugandan time. And what was poignant about the, the laughter was the exact same time we were laughing so hard. That was the time our dad was passing. I can never. Later in the night, Auntie Patricia came. I, was, I looked at her and was like, this cannot be right. She shouldn't be here. And she told us, it's gone. I froze. I was like, this is not possible. We've been praying. Is there a God? I was I told Tina, one of the personal assistants, that I just don't want anybody to talk to me about God because if God was there, my father would not have died. I go to Phoenix. On, the, my, on my flight back to Phoenix, I cried throughout. I was like, how am I going to tell my seven-year-old daughter that her grandpa He's dead. I braced myself. Some of my friends messaged me and said, you just have to tell her. So I approached her and I told her, Joanna, grandpa is dead. And I asked her, Joanna, do you know what death is? Could you explain it to me? And she said, death is when you stop breathing. You're basically gone but you go to heaven and then become our angel. And then she, she asked me, what about his money? I said, what money? She was like, grandpa was the third most important person in Uganda, so I would think there has to be some kind of money. I said, Joanna, that, don't you think that's a bit insensitive? But what she said after was what broke me. She said, I will miss grandpa a lot. But he's now in heaven with the angels. He's going to be watching over us and we'll be okay. My father was an exceptional man. And I'm just beginning to learn how much exceptional he was all the stories, all the tributes have given me strength to stand tall, knowing that my father's left a great legacy for all of us to be proud of. I'd like to thank His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, for doing everything possible to see that my father's life was saved. And also, for reaching out to me personally to extend his condolence. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to thank uh, Right Honorable Speaker for standing with me while I was in Seattle. I also, not only that, to extend her hand and to be our auntie because she called my dad, his brother, her brother, rather. I also like to thank the Minister of Finance, no, sorry, uh, Health, for coordinating the care and transition of care t until for my father to get the best care that he could possibly get. I'd like to thank Honorable Mao, Uncle, OPO lawyer, it's Chief Justice, for being there and being uh, standing strong by us. I want also to thank uh, His Excellency, 
the ambassador for the U.S. mission, who did his work diligently to expatriate my father's remains here and supporting us. And a special thanks to Auntie Patricia, you were a trooper, and thank you for staying with my father and all the sacrifices you've made. Thank you, everyone, and members of uh, Uganda for standing with us. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Diana. This one is to our father. That your journey ends here. Unfortunately, you, you can only go alone. We know that were it a war of bodies and weapons, everyone here in Uganda and abroad would have fought to the death with you. Farewell. Thank you. Thank you.